Hey, how are you guys doing? This is Ajari again. Yesterday, there was a Nintendo conference for the Switch, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about that. They showed it off more in depth from what they did last time. Um, I forgot when that was, but when they the very first time they showed it off, um, they didn't really show too much about it. But this time, they showed a lot more about it. They explained a lot more about the features and the Joy-Cons, which are the controllers that uh, hook up to the side of the Switch, which is the tablet. Um, they they explain more about the docking station, and um, it seems pretty cool. So um, the first thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the Joy Cons themselves. They have this functionality to where uh, you can um, shake the controllers, and it feels like they. The way they explained it was that there was ice. They, you feel like there's ice in the controllers, and you can tell like how many cubes are in the controllers as you shake it. Uh, and then something else happens to where it feels like there is water along with the ice cubes inside of the controller. It just gives that sensation or whatever. And so I thought that was pretty neat. They call it HD HD Rumble. Um, there's another function functionality with the uh, Joy Cons to where um, it has a uh, IR sensor or camera or something. Uh, on the controller to where it can see your your hands and i guess you can they the way they explained it was it can uh tell if you're doing uh rock paper scissors it can distinguish between your hand motions so that's pretty cool i don't really know uh, what practical use that's going to have in any games besides a game specifically uh made for you know rock paper scissors um but um, it's still pretty cool, though. Um, the technology is getting crazy, but yeah, I, I really don't see the use in that. But that's for somebody smarter than me to figure out. Um, let's see. Uh, they showed off a few games. Um, they showed off this game called um, Arms. And I like this game. I thought it was pretty cool. It's um behind-the-back view and it's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game, and it's kind of like uh, boxing, but the characters, their arms stretch out really far. And so the, you're a far distance from your opponent, but you can still hit them because your arms stretch. And there's different characters. There's a character named Ribbon Girl. Um, there's a mu a guy that has mummy wrap around his uh, his whole body, and his arms are like, you know, mummy wrap, and they unravel and stretch out. There's a ninja that has chains. Um, just, you know, different, uh, ca characters like that, that style of, uh, character. It looks cartoony and, and it looks pretty good. What it reminded me of was Virtual On, um, that old Sega arcade game, Virtual On. I think it came out on the Dreamcast or, no, I don't think it, no, I think it came out on the Sega Saturn. But anyway, yeah, Virtual On is like a behind the back, same exact perspective and it's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. You're throwing projectiles at each other. But in uh, this game, uh, I think a few characters do have projectiles in arms. Um, but uh, it's primarily, you know, the boxing, you know, and um, you turn the Joy-Con after you, and you actually use the Joy-Cons. You, you're actually throwing the punches, and uh, you turn the controller as you throw a punch to do like a hook um, and things like that, so... That was a pretty pretty um, neat looking game. I look forward to that. That looks pretty cool. Um, the next one is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So it's a rehash of the old Mario Kart 8, which I loved. I love that game. I got all the DLC for that game. And like I told you before, I'm not a big DLC guy. So if I get DLC for a game, that means that I really loved it. And I, I couldn't get enough of it. So, um, yeah. The only the only games that I ever got DLC for was Red Dead Redemption, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, and Mario Kart. Those are the only games I can really remember getting DLC for. So, yeah, that game was uh, really special to me. So, uh, having it come out, I wish it was Mario Kart 9. That would be cool, but, you know, uh, Mario Kart 8 is, is good, too. And um, this time it's going to be 1080p. Um, 60 frames per um, 60 frames per second at all times. Um, I don't know what it was on the on the Wii U. It looked it looked pretty good to me. I don't remember if it was 1080p or not, but 
Um, it looked pretty good on my big TV. Um, the frame rate seemed pretty smooth too. So, um, I guess with this 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 um, switch version, they're just you know guaranteeing that it will be 1080p, 60 frames per second at all times. No no you know dips in frame rate or anything like that. That's what I got from it anyway. And so and they also showed off um, the new battle mode. And um, I didn't really mess around with the battle mode in uh on, in the Wii U version, um, but I, I you know I kind of I kind of you know messed around a little bit, but not I probably play like one time or something because uh, it wasn't that great. It was just uh, the same uh, tracks, but you could just drive around the tracks and shoot each other. When you know the real battle mode for Mario Kart should be a field. You know, some kind of stage, not a uh, you know a track. So they went ahead and the, the track that I saw that they showed off was a Splatoon stage, and there was paint everywhere, and um, it looked like you know like the main stage from Splatoon that they showed off when they showed off Splatoon for the first time. Let's see. Uh oh, the Switch is also going to have a March third release date. So that's really close. That's a lot closer than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be late March, but March third. That's like you know that's 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 a month and, and some change away. And they show Skyrim. You know, eh, you know Skyrim. That game came out what two thousand eleven. I loved it when it came out. I played. I put uh, over a hundred hours into it. But um, I think I'm done with it. Uh, there are a lot of people that you know they 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 went back and got the uh, HD version. I have a lot of friends that went back and got the HD version for PS4. So. Uh, yeah, there's still demand for Skyrim. People st are still in love with Skyrim. So, yeah, this is a good uh, get for Nintendo to uh, have it on the Switch. Let's see here. There is this racing game. <clears throat> excuse me. There's this racing game called Red Out. And it looks like uh, Wipeout. It doesn't look anything like F-Zero. I wish they that they would have showed an F-Zero, but they didn't. Um, it looks like Wipeout s mixed with... Uh, those that those carts from uh from that Star Wars movie, the cart uh I don't know, I don't know what they're called, the jet racers or cart racers or whatever. Uh, those you know they have those jet big jet packs things on the back. Uh, it looks kind of like that, but uh, it just it just looks like another one of those. You know, um, might be something interesting, but yeah. And let's see what else. Um, they show Splatoon two. I don't really know too much about Splatoon. I never played it. Uh, but it looks like, you know, more Splatoon. I would have never known it was Splatoon 2 unless they, you know, had the logo that said, had the 2 at the end of Splatoon. I would have never guessed. I would have thought it was, they would have did like Mario 8, uh, Mario Kart 8, and, and just, you know, rehash. Because that's what I thought it was at first. So, But chalk that up to me not really knowing too much about Splatoon. Um, it looked good though. I mean, you know, Splatoon has always been something that I've been interested in. I just never really, you know, got into it. Um, there is, oh man, I think that's almost everything I have to talk about. Um, they showed, uh, Breath of the Wild again with more, um, you know, a little bit more, uh, into detail with that. Um, all they really did though was just show a trailer, but it showed a lot more, of the uh, the characters that are going to be involved in the story, it showed a lot more um, of the scenarios that that uh, Link and his uh, companions are going to go through, and it seems really that trailer was really uh, powerful. Um, just the music that went along with it was really great. Um, the scenes they showed were really um, like emotional and um, a lot of action. A lot of uh, disaster happening to the people. At one point, a girl she just starts screaming into Link's chest because uh, she's just you know she's she's so distraught. With uh, it looks she had like smudge on her face, it like some her maybe her house got burned down, her village got burned down, or something like that. And you know she got you know kind of caught in the in the in the mess and the chaos, and she's just so you know distraught. And Link is just sitting there. Uh, his eyes are just like has that thousand yard stare like what the hell just happened kind of look on his face i don't know if it's i don't know if it's yeah he looks like he's in shock like wow and then um but yeah that oh man i can't wait till that comes out i'm not gonna get a switch 
at first I'm going to get uh, this uh, Breath of the Wild. I'm going to get it for um, the Wii U. Hopefully the frame rate and, and everything like that. Hold, hopefully the frame rate holds up. Um, I remember the last time they showed off uh, Breath of the Wild, it was on the Wii U. Um, I think it was during E3. And, you know, it looked good. It looked great. But when you went high up on the cliffs and you kind of panned over the whole, you know, uh, landscape, um, it looked, it, the, the frame rate dipped. And I don't really have a problem with that. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, um, as long as the, the, the core game runs smoothly, I don't mind, you know, small little things like that. Um, but I'm pretty sure that the Switch is going to be able to handle it a lot better. But um, regardless, I'm going to get it on the Wii U. Um, and uh, I'll pick up a Switch maybe later. We'll see how it does. I'm taking a wait and see approach with the Switch. Um, Cause I'm not really convinced that it's gonna be, you know, the the greatest thing since sliced bread. I think the only thing that it really has going for it is the fact that it's replacing the 3DS. Cause because it's you know it's just the the two in one, the console and the handheld in one. So there will not be another you know handheld. This is it. The Switch is it. So you know the 3DS. I always get that. Um, or the new the new Nintendo's handhelds. I always mess with those. And um, those are always a big seller for Nintendo. So that that's their, I guess I, I could, you could say that's their bread and butter. I don't know. But um, I think the Switch is going to be successful solely because of that. I don't think the console portion of it, uh, if it was just a console, um, I don't think that it would be successful. I think it would be a Wii U all over again. What else? And then we got uh, Mario Kart odyssey i was about to say mario kart switch i'm glad they didn't go with that name odyssey sounds better so super mario kart super mario odyssey they showed a trailer of that there's a part where you are um mario is in like a painting looking kind of like a it's kind of blocky looking but it kind of looks like a painting at the same time that look interesting um they showed a whole bunch of different you know environments that he that he's in he's in like you know the we talked about this before, like the little Samba de Amigo uh, Mexican looking area. Um, they they kind of showed off a little bit more of that. It looked really good. Uh, damn, Mario in HD, man, that's that's going to be amazing. Um, one one area I didn't like, though, it looked like a New York or Detroit or something like that. Some kind of like city. And um, I never really liked you know, when they combine cartoon characters, but then try to have like a slightly more realistic city with slightly more realistic looking people. Like they did that with Sonic. And um, it, it, it always looked weird to me. You have this big head Sonic and, and, and you know, he's really cartoony looking. But then the people, they while still looking cartoony, they look a little bit more realistic. They're a little taller. They're a little slimmer. They're you know, the proportions are a little bit more realistic. And then you got r- real looking cars and, um, you know, these buildings, the lighting is just different. I, I don't know, man. I just, I don't like that, man. It's just, I don't know. So they had a level like that in the Mario game. And it looked like it would be open world because it looks really huge. Like you just run anywhere. But that's, I guess that's how Mario 64 was. And Mario Sunshine as well, so. Yeah, that's it, man. I just wanted to keep this real short. I know the one that I made uh, yesterday before was really long, even though I said it was going to be short. So hopefully this one's a little bit shorter. And um, so, yeah, they're going to have another. I think I believe they're going to have another press conference today. So hopefully um, they shed some more light on what's going to happen with the switch, the price. So we got a release date, March 3rd. Um, so hopefully they, they announced the price if they didn't already, if, if I, I hope I didn't miss it. Um, I am, I am guessing 250 to 300. There's a lot of stuff that comes in that box. Um, they got the joy cons, they got the little attached, um, you know, things that, that go around your arm. So you don't, you know, so it doesn't fly off and everything when you use the little, uh, motion, uh, controls. Um, but those things have like little um, uh, L and R buttons attached to them. Uh, you get the the I think you get the base stand. You get the, of course you get the the tablet, which is the console. Um, 
you get the little the the the, the controller that the um yeah that the joy cons go into that likes like i don't know it's just like a like a, a standalone controller and the joy con snap into it oh another thing too that's cool when the uh joy cons are attached to the uh, tablet they are constantly charging off of the tablet as well i don't know if that shortens the battery life of the tablet that wouldn't be good i mean it a have to um but yeah so i don't know if that's good or bad um yeah remember a long time ago they said they announced the the, the battery life of the switch i forgot what it was was it like three hours or something like that so all right so thanks for listening guys and um i'll talk to you guys real soon all right bye